Philip Scott, I'm uh, Vice Chair of BCS Health for Events uh, and I'm a Senior Lecturer in Information Systems at the University of Portsmouth. Right, so what, what do you think are the, 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 the key challenges at the moment facing health informatics? I think there's a big issue around funding, there's a big issue around uh, capacity and skills and there's a massive issue in terms of culture change. So I think the, in England the government has set out a, a funding programme which seems very small in comparison to the amount of money that was spent on the previous national program which achieved certain things but not all of its goals so I'm I'm not sure how they think the amount of money that's available now is actually going to pay for what is needed so what what can BCS be doing to to help things I think the BCS role is very much around uh, professionalism and education and bringing people together so I think BCS has an important role to play in helping people learn from best evidence. Um, IT projects tend to repeat all the previous mistakes of previous IT projects rather than learn from them and I think we have a role to play in trying to change that in helping people to see actually let's do things differently. And I think that I think there is a generational learning now that, that some of the mistakes of the past are being avoided. Unfortunately as political generations change they do seem to keep wanting everything done very quickly um, but I think I think there are some lessons there and I think BCS has an important role in, in educating the, the current generation of leaders. A couple of other questions occur to me uh, where do you think we are with our health informatics in the UK in relation to the rest of the world how are we doing in comparison to countries like the US or Australia etc? I think uh, primary care in the UK is, is world leading because um, GPs have been using computers for so long and are, are very familiar and, and, and it works for them because the scale of the practice and the fact that they're running it as an independent business they have the drivers to, to want to do that. Um, you could say similar for pathology and radiology in hospitals they're very advanced with their use of, of technology and, and they're used to it and they see the benefits operationally. Um, less so in general hospital practice, less so in uh, most community uh, mental health settings, although they are beginning to get some technological support. So I think there are, there are pockets of excellence. The challenge we have is trying to bring everybody up to the level of the best and also bring the interoperability so that information is, is shared across um, the various care settings and there's a particular challenge for social care which organisationally sits outside the health service, has different funding issues, different technology issues and that is a, a bit of a black hole at the moment that, that we really need to address. And one other question, um, what advice would you give to someone who's thinking of a career in health informatics, is it a, are we in a good place at the moment in the UK to work in? I, I do think we are at a kind of tipping point now. There, the, the technology seems to have got easier and more reliable, although there are still issues with some of the applications that are out there. Um, I think there's a, the, you know, the generation that's grown up with technology just assumes that there will be information availability where it is needed, when it is needed. And it's really just not acceptable that health and social care operate the way they do in the 21st century. I think there is this demand from the new generation that needs to be satisfied. Um, it just remains to be seen whether the NHS and social care are capable of, of delivering it because we, we exist in such um, slow moving, slow changing organisations. It, it's a, an uphill struggle to get the change that's needed.